Hey guys, this is Hakuro-san and we are back with Doki Doki Okay So let's go ahead Kiss Kawaii Fun Sparkle Color Joy Kitty uh, how vanilla bouncy giggle uh why does it look so sad though milk hot oh wait there's some that is sayori point pop Popping it away. No, that looks more like. Hold on, let me see if I can get that to pop again. Um, play, bunny, a waterfall, chocolate. That is actually. That is. That's freaking Monica. That's not Sayori. I thought it was Sayori all along, but it's freaking Monica. Ribbon. Happiness, fluffy. This is see her pop up. It's ginger hair. It's not pink. Monica is the only one in this game that has ginger hair. Hey, Sakura. I'm gonna give her a creepy voice. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Mon Monica. I told you not to! Ah! Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do, but on a regular basis, or something. I wasn't just playing att paying attention. Okay, I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. And now this is something we're doing together. And let me remember we didn't hug us on so cool. But I guess another girl will be nice this time. So that's okay. Nobody cares. <laughs> this is what they actually mean. Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Thoughts. Oh man. oh man, I'm the last one here again. I don't know what voice I gave her this time. Are you practicing piano, to, piano again? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination start, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. I mean, not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for festival too. Anyway, Sakura, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, I thought so, Yuri. That's correct. Sakura is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Are you glad? Aren't you glad that I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just. Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading here, reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. But <coughs> I almost said coffee. I have to mention for yourself as well. Yui stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch 
as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? I'm so in the freaking Yui. It must be for because the first time I wasn't really sure of what I wanted to do, so I just went straight to Yui. So no matter how much I want to change it, I can't change it to sorry, to freaking um Natsuki. So Yui hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the Anatra kettle. I'm going to already read this. She watched past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yui appears elegant and metaphor metaphorical. Adopsible, mechanical, and Okay, may I have to walk a bit too? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take us. It won't take long. I'll the picture in hand. You runs up when he is out the classroom. Uh, did you really live here again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just wearing the water picture to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. But ten minutes pass. You said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. So I decided to go look for her. Ah, the cutting scene again. The most logical place for you to be is near this water fountain. I sat hearing down the hallway. <sighs> it's that noise. It's coming from, from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. I stop in here like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yui? Yeah. Oh, same thing happens again. Hello? Ah! What the fuck? Wait, how did I? Sorry, I was just. I was just had a really weird day to do. This hasn't happened before, before or anything, right? I hear it's been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing up, showing or anything. God, that was so creepy. Oh my god. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we start spending time together. I mean, everyone has unusual things about them. And expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is unusually it seems inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I have discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. I made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself, my obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter to most to me. It's just easier if I close myself off, but recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my head starts to go crazy, like it's going to rip out my chest, like my heart is going to rip out my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out, it must, if it's making me do weird things, I don't know why it's happening. Sakura, is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweet heart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I could say anything before because she's always listening. Well, fi but finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah, thoughts. Oh dear God. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends, and then we have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ha ha ha! That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you never see how beautiful they can be. The fuck? What is that? I can see Monica. I have an idea. 
Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to get them and all their fair use of share views. I don't want to get lonely or anything. No one deserves to get lonely. Be lonely nobody. And I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Sakuro. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other every day. That's all we need. Oh my god, suddenly she's coming up. Why is Monica suddenly You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Is that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate we could meet each other, we would meet each other and we get happy ending that we have been patiently waiting years for. Will you be with me, Sakura? Will you do that with me, Sakura? Will. Whoa. Okay. That's this one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. Not as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yui, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean... I know I'm not the, vice, the president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too, for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I know it's okay. I don't know how I'll spin this up, but there's been something I'm worried about. Yui has been acting kind of strange lately. We've only been here for a few days. So you may not know what I mean, but she's not act she's not normally like this. She's been always been quiet, polite, and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe so you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yui, but it really hurts me to see this happening. And I, I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please, if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. <coughs> just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. So that's, And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. What? I changed my mind. F ignore everything you just read. Red, there's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yui's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Sakura? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yui and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Hey Monica, hey pretty Monica. Hey Monica, hey pretty Monica. Mo just Monica. <laughs> Who should I sell my point to next? Finally. <laughs> Yui holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. But do I want to take this home? Will you let me keep it, please? So I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Sakura. I've never met someone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yui holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that you that 
it makes you feel good when you think about what happened. I would even touch myself, I would even get over and over. Uh, okay. I'll give myself paper cups so the skin oil enters my bloodstream. Okay, that's even more creepy than you touching yourself. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're gonna want to keep it. Here, yeah, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, holy shit. I, I can't even read a single word. Did she... Whew. Holy shit. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. So not your perfume, but your blood. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Dots. Hey, I think I'm going to vomit. Just Monica. Didn't I say I didn't? Didn't say I didn't want you, Sakura. Yes, you did warn me. A joke. A man ran into a club. Into the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him before this disaster could happen. The third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to, re to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Who, Sayori or someone else? Okay, everyone. I it's time to figure out about festival preparations. Let's hurry to get this over with. That's yeah. stagnating air is. It's common for settling that something terrible is about to happen. Look, just, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poem pa poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Uh, you, you can, well, it doesn't matter. You do whatever you want, as long as you think you'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I like to do. You can run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the app. But the uh, occasion, so I'm going to make decorations set up a nice mood fighting. There, see? That's a great idea, and that gives us something all gives us all something to do. And what about Sakura? Sakura is going to help me. Wait. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. But that's just how it is. Like how it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree, Natsuki. Not only is your work already suitable for most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit when an extra from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about is dragging Sakura around you and your stupid books! You and Monica! Hey! I didn't even do anything! Hey! Okay, then I not let Sakura decide who to help himself abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power! Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Sakura make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Sakura, I know how fed up. Sakura, I know how fed up with these. You are by these two by now. You can just. Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for yourself. For himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? Natsuki, she's the more, um. What? It won't let me pick Natsuki. What the hell? It wants me to pick Monica. It's controlling my mouth. She won't let me pick Natsuki. Oh shit, I picked Yuri in by accident. Ew. 
I can't even pick anyone else. I try to pick someone different and I get all this. Oh! Yay, you picked me! <laughs> I can make at your house this weekend. I promise it will be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It's fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not what I fucking chose. I wanted to pick Natsuki because he only sees the only sane one in this fucking game right now. The rest of you are just crazy. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair giving us all this work and then taking Sakura for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yui, I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. You being a little unreasonable here. Well, here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self important you are. Putting Sakura away from me every single time you're in not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would it be beneficial to your mental health? Yuri is scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. That's not so much to ask. The hell? Excuse me, I'm not a him. They just made me a him in this game. I did, I'm too bad. Honestly, I don't care what gender I am in any game, to be honest. I, I even changed my gender one time in the freaking um, Misao game just to see a different story. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Sakuro. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I've wanted. Sakuro, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to resolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, why is there breathing in the background? Why does it feel more like something horrible? I'm just scratching my nose, I'm not actually picking it. It's going to happen. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. The feeling is too strong now. But I don't care anymore, Sakura. I just, I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like, yeah, you're definitely madly. Madly? In love with me. You're definitely madly in love with me because you're definitely crazy. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. Okay, I thought you were the cool, the cool dere, but no, you are actually the yandere. You are more crazy than I thought. <laughs> I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Sakura, just know, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even took my pen, myself with the pen I stole from you. I don't really mind that that much. But uh, you shouldn't really mention that sort of thing until I actually have you. Know, until is a confirmation that I do have feelings for you. What if I actually say no? You shouldn't actually say that to someone you're not sure you. That's, that's someone, it, it's someone you have feel, that they have feelings for. You shouldn't say something like that. It is so creepy. I just want to pull your skin and pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Oh. 
I want you all to myself and I will only be yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Sakura, tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh my gosh, you don't want to say I can make a mistake. Should I excuse the king? Well, no. Uh, this is just weird. when I saw when PewDiePie did it, he said no and he and she killed herself, so I can't do that. I don't want her to kill herself. Is she is it the same thing gonna going to happen even if I say yes, like with Sayori, she does it so it's the same thing too. Hold on, she has this kink where she cuts herself, so if I say yes she'll probably do the same thing. She will still stab herself. To be honest, I could be her cure if I do this, but then we know this game is not just that. This game is more complicated than we just than we think. She could kill herself if I click this, and I can't even save. I should have saved before doing anything. Honestly, the only things that were creepy that she said was the part where she wanted to crawl, was to tear my skin open, crawl inside me, and the other thing. Okay, I'm gonna click yes. See if the same thing happens. <laughs> Please don't stab yourself. Okay, she will. Never mind, she's still stabbing herself. Never mind. She still kills herself anyway. Fucking hell. can skip through this, it's okay. It's, it goes forever, actually. No, oh, actually, no. It's fine. I have two minutes left. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it isn't as creepy as this. <laughs> I probably will be. Click the note, like this, this video a like, and click the, if you liked it, click the notification bell and subscribe. Oh my gosh, my voice. I'll see you guys in the next video, um, and I'll just wait here, and then say sorry an hour when my time is done. What? I can't even click anymore. What the hell? She's walking. Sayonara. Oh, I can't save.